Now to the investigation into thousands of fetal remains found at the South Suburban home of abortion doctor Ulrich Klopfer. Tonight, a former patient tells CBS 2's Dana Kosloff what she remembers about being treated by the controversial doctor. Why did you reach out to us? Um, I don't know. I just feel compelled to. 32-year-old Asitu has never talked about her abortions before. That changed when she learned the man who performed them, Dr. Ulrich Klopfer, died, and more than 2,200 fetal remains were found in his garage. I thought to myself, oh my God, I, I did this awful thing, and my children are possibly held in a box somewhere in the house, you know, and... I cried. Asitu says the discoveries brought back a flood of emotions about the first time she went to see Klopfer at his now closed Gary, Indiana clinic when she was 18. She was carrying twins and still has the ultrasound pictures. Klopfer's name imprinted on them. I just said to myself, I can't bring my kids into the situation. I can't bring my kids into poverty. I can't bring my kids to a father who don't, who don't love them or want them. As to remember sitting in a room with other women, she remembers Klopfer talking to them before the procedure. He said, if you don't do this, it will cost you averagely yearly $240,000 to take care of a kid. So would you rather deal with that or would you rather go home and just go back to your regular life? That's how callous he was about it? Straight, it was, there was no emotion. There was no empathy. She says when she went back for her second abortion eight years later, not much had changed, except she says this procedure left her bleeding and scarred. The one thing I can remember was he was extremely rough. That's one thing as far as his tone of voice, how direct callous it was, even a procedure, it was. Klopfer's license was suspended a few years later. His three Indiana clinics closed. Authorities now say the medically preserved remains in his garage are almost 20 years old, so they're likely not Asitu's babies. It gives her little comfort. She still believes in the right to choose, but hopes talking about her experiences, her decisions, may be of help to someone else. Every circumstance is different. I don't know what brought them to that level, but what I will say is if you choose to do that, just know it will live with you forever. Asitu says Klopfer's staff said her fetal remains would be disposed of. Investigators still don't know why Klopfer put those earlier fetal remains in his garage. We chose not to use Asitu's last name due to the sensitivity of the subject. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Erica. Dana, thank you.